this is Maritime Academy YouTube channel and I am Captain Omid. If you remember already we talked about uh, Marburg Convention Annex 1 till Regulation 14. So in this video I want to continue this annex with Regulation 15. Before starting the Regulation 15 please one more time I ask you don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit this bell to see my newest video in the next weeks. In Regulation 15, we are talking about control of discharge of oil. In the first paragraph of Regulation 15, we are talking about Regulation 4 of Annex 1. If you remember, in when we were talking about Regulation 4, which title was Exemptions, we talked about Regulation 15. And we told in Regulation 4 of Annex 1 that in some special circumstances and cases, you can exempt this regulation. For example, to save the lives at seas, to secure the safety of the ship, but provided that already you have taken enough measures. So I'm putting the link of regulation four here. Already we talked about that one, so I don't want to waste the time now. So please uh, look at uh, regulation four, which already we talked about that. Okay, come back to Regulation 15. In Regulation 15, we have categorized the discharge of oil to the sea in three categories, three different categories. The first category is in Part A of this regulation, which is, says, which is talking about discharge of oil outside of the special area except Arctic waters. The second category is in part B of this regulation, talking about discharge of oil inside of the special area. And the third part, in part C, we are talking about discharge of oil by the ships with less than 400 ton GTs. In all areas, except Arctic and Antarctic region. Why here is talking about 400 ton GT? Because, you know, generally in Annex 1, just as a reminder, I'm telling you that generally in Annex 1, we are talking about the vessels more than 400 ton GTs. But in this part, we are telling that vessel with less than 400 ton GT, they cannot do what they like. They should fulfill with the requirement of this part of Regulation 15. Also, after this three part, which is the main part of Regulation 15 of Annex 1, there is another part, Part D in Regulation 15, which is talking about some tricky things regarding the governments, how they should face with violation of this uh, regulation and something else, which means something more, uh, that we will talk about that one also. In Regulation 15, Part A, uh, as I told you, we are talking about uh, discharge of oil outside of the special area, except uh, Arctic regions. I want to simplify like that for you. Remember, you can discharge the oil mixture in outside of the special area if you have these five conditions first you are in route secondly you are complying with the requirements of regulation 14 i don't want to come back to regulation 14 here i'm putting it here already we talked completely about regulation 14 please go and look about this one just the second condition is fulfilling with requirement of Regulation 14, which if you remember, it was talking about oil filtering equipment. The third one is very famous things, 15 ppm. It means that your oil, that your, the content, that content of oil mixtures, content of oil in the oil mixtures, which you are going to discharge that shall not pass 15 ppm. And the fourth and the third one was specialized for the oil tankers, which very famous wordings. It's telling that this oily mixture shall not be originated from the 
palm fruit bill jazz or mix with the cargo residues. So, summarize like that. First one, you shall be in route. The six, second one, you should comply with the regulation 14 of the annex. The third one, 15 ppm shall not be passed. The fourth and fifth, talking about oil tankers, that this mixture shall not be come out from the pump room bilge or mixed with the cargo residues. Okay, this was the first uh, part of regulation 15, part A, which it was talking about a condition of discharge of oil in outside of a special area. In part B of this regulation, regulation 15 of an X1, we are talking about discharge of oil inside of a special area. If you are any vessel with more than 400, 400 tons GT, GRT, you are allowed to discharge your oil mixtures inside of a special area if, if you are filling with these five conditions. First of all, same as previous part, you should be in route. The secondly, you should fulfill with requirement of regulation 14 part seven. I'm keeping the link here, so please go to rule regulation 14. So go to rule about that one. Here if I want to come back to regulation 14, again we will waste too much time. So please, I put the link here, go through that one. So you shall be in route, the second you should fulfill, you should fulfill with the requirements of regulation 14, paragraph 7 of uh, Annex 1. The third one, same as before, you, should not, you shall not pass 15 ppm. It means that the content of uh, oil in, your, in the uh, oil mixture which you are going to discharge shall not pass 15, shall not pass the 15 ppm. And the, third, and the fourth and the fifth condition is specialized for the tankers. That is already we talked. It says that this oil mixture shall not, shall not be originated from the pump to bilges or mixed with the cargo residues. So, one more time, let's summarize together. In part B of Regulation 15, we are talking about requirements which are allowing you to discharge the oil mixture in, even in special areas. Even in special areas. This requirement, you shall be en route. The secondly, you shall completely fulfill the requirement of Regulation 14, Part 7 of this regulation of this annex. The third one, 15 ppm shall not be passed. The, uh, the fourth, the fourth and fifth one, talking about oil tankers, that this oil mixture which you are going to discharge shall not be generated from the oil from the pump room bilge or cargo residues. So this was the this was the part B of uh, regulation 15. Also remember in regulation 15, there is another two things that we should talk about that we should talk about it. If you remember in Annex 1, regulation 1 definitions part uh, 11, I'm putting the link here. We talked about the special areas of Annex 1. One of these special areas was Antarctic. So Antarctic is exempted from this part B of regulation 15 means in any case, in any case, if you fulfill these requirements of not fulfill these five requirements, you are not allowed to discharge anything in, Ant in uh, Antarctic region. Where was the Antarctic? Below the six zero degrees latitude. And uh, also in this part, in part B, better I tell you, it's telling also something. It is also good things to know. In part B of regulation 15 of Annex 1, it says, at the last paragraph of this part, it says that imagine your voyage is like this. Some part of your voyage is inside of the special area and some part is outside of the special area. If you have like this voyage, so if you are engaged in such kind of voyage, so definitely you should 
this chart of your oil mixtures with fulfilling with that five requirements in a special in outside of special area not inside the special area it is a common sense also when I have this voyage some part is some part is inside of a special area and some part is outside of a special area so definitely if I want to go to discharge my oil mixture I will discharge in outside of the special area also it's talking about this one okay that is finished with uh, part B of uh, regulation 15 uh, let's uh, talk about uh, part C